in the middle of absolutely nowhere right now. <laughs> I'm driving from Bullard's to Collins Lake for camping right now. I haven't seen a gas station on my whole way here. Time's not open. Okay. Okay, let's go get a sight. Gotta get the essentials. Is there anything today I didn't have that I could use tomorrow? Uh, some interesting choices here. I'm not seeing anything really that would improve my odds. You guys see anything that I should use tomorrow at Bullard's? I think we gotta go with this one. Grab me one of these while I edit some video tonight. And yeah, can't beat these chips. Okay, it says bass. Must be a largemouth bass, huh? Yeah. 15 pounds, 4 ounces. Did, you, did is you catch a big one? Yeah. Really? 13 1. You caught a 13 1? Today? Did you, did you oh, release it? it? Damn right. I mean, did you take a picture? You know, it's too big to fit in a live well, so we fought so long, it wasn't acting too good. So we took it out and we put it in, a, we were going to take a picture after we resuscitated it. Right. And my buddy's stronger than I am, and uh, he played with it for 10 or 15 minutes. All of a sudden, it went straight down. Uh, I just, I'm the black truck, I just need a uh, campsite or place to park to sleep tonight. Okay. Um, I was gonna go back to Bullard's, but now I'm kind of double fishing. <laughs> yeah. That's where the bass Well, it was my first time fishing Bullard's today, and I mean, caught fish, just they're all super small. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, guys, I'm kind of <laughs> rethinking. Should I go back to Bullard's or should I go here? 13-1, and the guy also said he caught a couple threes out of here. Collins Lake, <sighs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to think on this one. A. All right, A. -A. Alrighty guys, we are here at Collins Lake, just for camping again. Plan is to fish Bullard's Bar tomorrow. Yes, I overheard that guy said he caught a 13 here, and that's, that's amazing, but Again, we came here for Bullard, so going to Bullard tomorrow, just camping here because you can't camp at Bullard during the winter. So got my campsite, and uh, just to kind of piggyback on some of the previous videos I've shown you guys about you know, making my truck more campable, well, this is a perfect example. My site does not have electric, so for a full day of fishing, I need to recharge my Torquedo, recharge, recharge my Fish Finder battery, GoPro batteries, and uh, there's our power bank right there. Everything is charging nice and smoothly. Uh, we've got this light for doing some work. Got my laptop with me. Actually, today I'll upload all the footage and uh, probably create the video tonight while I'm just hanging out. No, don't have anything else to do. Gotta go in back here. Got our cooler. I already brought some food with me, but uh, they had a nice little convenience store in there. So we uh, bought some beer. I'm gonna try this a little bit later. This is the... Uh, Sierra Nevada, resilience, you know, in honor of Butte County with the uh, recent and tragic fires. Always good to support a ca good cause and a local brewery and a good brewery too. Lunch for tomorrow. Dinner for tonight is gonna be consisting of wraps, a salami stick, and some baby bell cheese. Super fancy, I know, but I've done that in the past and it's super easy, it tastes good and it's uh it works it's about seven o'clock right now again i'm camping because i drove like three hours to get here so it makes sense to camp overnight better than you know springing for a hotel i can keep everything charged get some work done sleep pretty comfortably i've got my sleeping bag i've got my coffee for the morning coffee maker will be ready for the morning and should be good to go so that being said i will see you guys tomorrow morning well good morning guys it is about 6 45 i got up at six this morning slept pretty good last night truck camping worked out perfect stayed nice and toasty in here but yeah nice little campsite here got the coffee with the coffee brewing right here all the batteries are charged for the day just gonna finish up making some coffee and i'm pretty much off so the next time i will see you guys is on
Okay, here we go guys. Another day. I was here yesterday, super tough bite. Small fish, had to work super slow, finesse, just to get a bite, and they were all <laughs> dinkers. But uh, as far as the game plan, I'm gonna try a different part of the lake. Today is another day, so let's see what happens. We're gonna start off with a jerk bait. Try that to start. All right, so yesterday my most productive lure for bait was a little drop shot. Super finesse, super tiny. Actually, one of the fish I caught spit up two really tiny bait fish, like a centimeter long, way smaller than this. So, check this out. That's like perfect match the hatch. Little crappie bait. I mean, that should do some damage if they're still biting the way they were yesterday. All that stuff extends down into the water. I mean, it looks, it's gotta be good. There's not much cover on this lake. It's just like stumps and rock. You can see those stumps down in the water too. They're in the, on the fish finder. Alrighty. First 10 minutes of fishing. Let's see what kind of size we can expect today. Feels bigger than anything I had yesterday. Not a bad one. Oh man. Guess that crappie bait worked. Man, look how pale that fish is. <laughs> that is not good. All right. That's something on the board. The other thing is, I didn't even really see that fish on my graph. Like you can barely see. I, I think they're still super tight to the bottom. in about the same depth and on a little crappie bait super pale on the bottom dead sticking might just be one of those days just covering some new water right now but man look how crazy this lake is I mean just like so much to <laughs> so much to, to scout yeah that's the most fish I've seen on my graph since I've been here in one area. I don't know what they are. I don't know if there's crappie in this lake or... I just really don't know too much about this lake to be honest. Yeah, school of something down there. They look like decent marks too, like good sized fish. It's hard to find a bait that'll get down to like 40 foot. those fish again. I just don't know what they are. I guess we're gonna find out what, what they are. I don't know what I was hoping for. Yeah, they are bass. Okay, that might be the palest bass I've ever caught in my life. It's like straight albino. All right, got him on the spoon. Maybe that's what's down there. There's a million of them down there. I guess I just needed that reaction strike. That feels like a better spoon fish. Uh, he's just hooked weird. Getting that reaction strike. Man, these fish are pale. At least we found some. I'm surprised they weren't hitting the little crappie jig. The little crappie drop shot, just dragging it through there. I might have to try it again, but a spoon is just a good way to force feed them, get them to react. Oh, 
12 hooks, make them seem bigger. Made it through them. Oh, that one actually ate it. <laughs> Found the school of albinos. This is definitely the biggest fish I've caught here. Yeah, there we go. Still not a giant, but 14 and a half. Finally caught one on the Senko. Well guys, it's about one o'clock and I've got a pretty long drive home, so I think I'm gonna head in now, pack up and get going. But uh, first time up to Bullard's Bar, or this was at least my first two days up at Bullard's Bar. And uh, man, what a beautiful lake. I mean, can you really beat that? This place is gorgeous. Tough fishing, obviously. Catching fish, just they were all small. Today was a little bit better than yesterday. Uh, got more fish today, found a pretty good school of them, but they were all just tiny. Pretty much the only thing I could get bit on today was a spoon. Got a couple on a Senko and a drop shot, but I think the key today was really getting those fish to react and that spoon uh, was the deal. So, I mean, this is a cool lake for sure. And obviously it has big fish in it, so I would definitely be back. Hopefully get a little revenge on this lake. Man, it seems like I need to get revenge on a lot of lakes lately, <laughs> and that's not a good thing. I'm getting excited, weather stabilizing a little bit more. It is almost time for the Delta. I'm definitely more of a shallow water fisherman, so I'm really excited for that. That's gonna do it for today, guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.